Hey guys, this is Mac Kids on the One. Today, in this brief little video, I'm going to be showing you how to VNC to your PC um, from your Mac. First of all, um, you need to in download um, something called Chicken of the VNC. Um, I made another video on this, um, how to control someone's screen. You can just download it from that, or in the description of this video, I'll have a link to download it as well. So you can download it either way. Um, you should probably already have it, but if you don't, of course. So, um, so once you have that and downloaded and installed, um, there are a few things you need to do on your PC before you're ready to VNC to it. And I'm going to be demonstrating this to you right now. Okay, guys, so next on your PC, you want to go to this website, realvnc.com slash products slash download dot htm. I will also have a link in the description of the video to this website. Um, and then you want to just click download and use under the free edition. Next, it'll just ask you for some information. Fill this out. So I'll just say name, Alex, email. Um, I'll just say macheads101 at me.com. And I'll just um, leave this blank. And I'll select a category. I'll just say school, deployment. I'll just say the standard thing and then click proceed to download. Then you want to under Windows Free Edition for Windows, you want to click the executable thing and under that click download. That'll just ask you where to download it and save it after you check this box. This box. And click download. And then I'll start to download. Just save it to your desktop and when you open it up, a window like this should pop up. And I think it'll be right here by default. There are a few things that, that you need to set up in this. You want to click the Authentication tab, then select VNC Password Authentication, then select Configure, type the new password, then confirm it. Okay, then click OK. Okay, so that set your password. So now, um, that that's all you need to do um, there, and you can just click OK. Next, you want to go into the Windows um, control panel, and um, however you want to do it, go to Firewall, or Windows Firewall, either one. Then you want to um, select On, then click Exceptions on the top, and then click Add Port. And under name, call it VNC, and under port number, type 5900. Now then you want to click OK, and then click OK on this. Okay, so we've set up your firewall to um, have VNC there, and we've configured your VNC password. So now, um, that's all you need to do on your Windows machine if you know your IP. If you don't know your Windows machine's IP address, you want to go to Start, then select Run. This will also work on Vista, I might mention. And then you want to type CMD, then hit enter. And then when this black window comes up, type IP config. Okay, so right here under IP address, dot, 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 colon will be a number right here. 192.168.1.103. That's your IP address. Normally, it'll start with 192.168. something. Dot something. So um, that's. All we need to do on the PC, make note of the IP address. Um, also remember, um, you've set your VNC password to whatever it is, and you've set up your firewall. I'll move on to what you do on the Mac next. So, what you need to do now is open up Chicken of the VNC. And I have a few things already programmed in here. You just want to click the plus button right there. And where it says new server, we'll call it PC. And that can be whatever you want. Then under PC, you want to click PC, and then under Host, you want to type your IP address of your PC that you typed IP config to get. Mine was 192.168.1.103, colon, and then you want to type 5900. So um, it should look something like this. I'll just zoom in. Okay, now I'll zoom out. Okay, so um, next, under Password, you want to type the password that you set through those settings, and now you click Connect. Right here is going to be um, your screen, your your screen of your PC, and um, it will be a little laggy. Um, 
but don't worry about that. This is this is a really great um feature, and um if there are any problems with getting this set up with your PC, um let us know, and we are more than um glad to help you. I've helped a few people set this up. There are various different things you have to do um to set this up and it's very it's it's nice once it's set up to be able to control your screen. So thank you for watching Mac Kids and On. Subscribe and goodbye.